again and um, what I'm going to do is put the centrepiece in and the only thing I've done is put a couple of ribbons on I just remembered that uh, the lady I'm doing this for might want ribbons so I've put a couple of ribbons on and um, I'll get the box the right way around And I'm going to take the book out of the inside and leave the two boxes together. And what I'm going to do is to glue up the back. As usual, I'm fully prepared. And uh, and finish the thing off generally. So that's the largest box and that's going to go down in that position. So what I'll do is I'll glue that one up stick it into position Okay. Blow up my fingers. So I'm going to position it roughly because we're going to use the box lid to um, do it accurately. Push it over. Make sure the back's going. that in. Make sure everything sticks. to put the book in give that a little bit of weight and then leave it to dry for a few minutes okay well I did say leave it to dry for a few minutes but I meant I should have said put it under weight and here you can see that I I've got it under a few books and I'll just take the weights off now because it's 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 fairly dry now. Uh, I'll remove the books. And all I'd done was I used the box in the box in the book and what I did was 
I put a couple of cards inside just to raise it, raise it up slightly so as it would square it all off. And uh, I'm going to use that little ploy to put the other side in. So you'll see, you'll, if you look now, you can see that it's it's raised here. It has got a raised he edge here, just there. I don't know why you can see that. So that's that's high enough for me to place the other box over, like so, and line everything up absolutely correctly. And uh, I'll put a weight on the top then. So before I do that, I'll just apply a little bit of glue on the top. Because then you know it's absolutely accurate. I should have this ready really. I keep forgetting to dry this brush off. Okay, I'll turn the book over, make sure we don't catch the ribbons, place it in position, and what I'll do now is apply a little bit of weight to that, move it out of the way so that work. Put a bit of weight on there. And leave it like that for about, I'll leave it for about half an hour. You should leave it for longer but I'm making a video so you can't really. Okay well I'm going to show you a method of putting the the last bit in now, nearly finished, and um, I'll just remove that button and put it on there because I'm going to need it there. So what we do is we open the box, so both boxes are lined up now, and what we want to do is to put the, the smaller one across the back of the spine like that to make the fourth the fourth side because the boxes have only got three sides um, but this will keep up the dust and it traps in the air and it makes the book it keeps the book cleaner for longer and the way to do it accurately is what I do is I pull the box up like so and rest it up against something a couple of books which I've got already prepared And before I do that, I'll just put a bit of glue on. Pull the side up. I need something in front there to hold it. Put the back in. 
and just press it up to the up to the back of the, the book like so and then turn it down and it'll be accurate uh, accurately set then so what we're going to do now is to quickly put a piece of card on a couple of bits of card like so and a little bit of weight anyway, I'll use a bigger book this is just to check the weight of it I'm hoping you can see this and there you are the next time you see the book it will be finished and we should be able to put the, the book in and put it to bed so I'll stop there and wait for that to dry it's all a matter of waiting for things to dry and set ok in. then final stage this is a show off part where now you finish it all you can show it off to your friends and um, I hope you met a better job than I did <laughs> but I'll just remove the books and uh, get them out of the way I hope you could understand uh, <laughs> the way I've done things but I'll just remove this so there's a the centrepiece in now and there you can see I might get a bit closer in for you for that there you can see that the side falls in quite nicely and the box goes over and closes with a puff of air you can see the, the air move, move the ribbon yeah so it's reasonable and uh, this is for Rose my friend's girlfriend she's ever so nice and uh, it's a leather bound book paper special paper inside for Rose and it's a diary and all it's got is every day is a page for the year so there's 365 pages in and the months are marked with a rose a little rose for set for the front page John of Farm ones there January there we are so every page has got a sort of a little rose in it and I'll pull back because I'm frightened at not being in shot for you and the book fits quite nicely and everything fits so if you've done it the way I said everything will fit quite nicely the sides will go in and there you are the box will go and these little ribbons are to tie up and if she wants to tie it up she can tie it up with the little ribbons if she so wishes anyway I hope that's been some use to somebody, some value somebody got something out of that I know there's quite a few of these on but I use a couple of different methods than the other people use and uh, the more you watch these from different people the better you become and there, is a, there are as many methods of doing this as there are as there are people making them so um, I wish you good luck with your venture and uh, I wish you adieu. Thanks for watching.